What is up guys, today I'll be showing you, uh, basically, previously, I made a video on how to add music without all the USB work and everything. Some people said it worked, some people hated it because it sounded all trash and everything. Yeah, same, like, I thought the same thing, but still. Today I'll show you, show you how to, uh, speed up certain parts of the video if you don't want it to be the same speed. If you want to slow some parts on, if you want to speed some parts up. Um, I'll teach you how to do that here. I got a 37 second clip, not that long. Basically, if you want to, oh, I forgot how to do this, I think. Oh, okay. I want to go to, is it just, okay, you have your video here. You want to press square, the split clip, I think it is. And then, let's say you want to speed up the part where I'm going to open the pack and then you want also to have this part sped up basically you're going to want to do that you see I have three clips you all you have to do is split them okay and then now that you're done splitting the clip you want to go you want to press score again and then for that clip want to go to time bender you can choose how fast you want it, how slow you want it, if you want it like a stop motion, or if you want it smooth. So let's just say you want to have it times eight smooth. Just do that. Same thing for here. Press square, time bender, go to times eight. Okay, minimum length. Okay, so let's just say I guess I want times four then, because I need times four, I guess. So yeah, Got the whole video here, and okay, let's just say you're gonna want to, you know, um, do that as well. In that case, if you speed up everything, then you won't, you would probably only need to split in between these two, because these are both times A, so it's not like you, that's just extra work put on yourself. Exit without saving. Let's say I want to, uh, okay, okay. So here, this is, this is one of my older clips, I guess. I deleted it. I don't know why. And then, yeah. See, I'm gonna wanna, I'm gonna wanna. Let's just show another example where I, uh. Like, use this clip, just saying. Um. I guess I. I don't know what I did here. See what happens. Cause I know what. Whenever I save a clip, I end up like. Um. It's always in the. Like. At the end of the clip, so I'm gonna go all the way there. Let's just see what happened quickly. Um, let's say you don't feel like deleting the other clip that like, so you're just gonna speed it up all the way, just for I don't know why. I think that's any commentary. Let's go all the way. Sorry guys, but just gonna wanna. If you wanna see what happened, let's go all the way over here. Take a long time, so. Why did I actually? Why did I possibly? Why did I? Okay, so let's just say it happened at the beginning of 59th. Minute, uh, uh, 58th at at the end. Okay, what you want? What you want to do is, no, not go to time bender. I'm go to split clip, split it like that. Say let's just go to somewhere else random. Split, split, and you probably now how you do that. And let's say you just want to speed this up times eight. This is now very short.
This genuinely sounds like a Formula E car. It's so weird. And then you're gonna speed this as well. Just say, no, let's say you just wanna slow it down now. Wait, uh, slow it down. Now it's super long. Now it's super long. Let's go back to now this clip. We're gonna go to Time Bender. And let's just say we want times two step now. Well, I don't think that works. So we got instead of instead of times eight making it super fast, so we made it times two. And uh, say so we want to split half of this clip now. You can split whenever you want, but I think I think like um I'm not sure what happens if like it makes both videos still times eight or does it reset? Let's just say you want this to be now a one and a half clip, and then we're gonna make this times eight. Let's make it look like a stop motion, right? Yeah. Just quick tutorial on how to, you know, uh, like make certain clip, like uh, let's say. Let's say you're playing Fortnite, right? And then, then uh, let's say you capture a win, right? And then there's some parts where like you have to do something, so then you hide in between. And then, and then like you just want to like either delete that. I mean, but then it's gonna be like, oh, like what if you like did all this there? Just speed it up, just to show you know, like you know, that I didn't do anything during that time. I was just standing still there. And yeah, you have all these clips here. This shit looks really cool. Oh, I don't. Why does it look like that? Then you get into the straightaway. Oh, that doesn't look good at all. Just do note that yeah, some clips might not look as well because of that. It does look cool though. The way it pops up like that. Let's look at that again. I want to see how uh, you know. There's some pros, some cons. Like if you see at the left, that like keeps on moving for some reason. I don't know why. And then in the middle, you saw how nicely that popped up. So yeah, just a short video on you know how to speed up, slow down, and split clips to do that. And yeah, it's short to the point so if you guys did like this video please like the video you know uh, it would always help subscribe if uh, you're new to the channel always help you know I'm trying to, I'm trying to grow right now uh, click the bell never miss a stream never miss a video and uh, spread the word I'm just trying to grow you know so telling family telling friends you know go subscribe to Daniel Ortiz Gaming it would always help so if you do all that thank you so much for helping me grow and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you'll probably see me do another stream in the next few days. Thank you so much. Have a great day. Bye. Oh, what is up guys? Um this is just a second part to the uh to the how to trim uh, to how to split clips and speed them up, slow them down. Um if you're in the process of doing it, let's say okay, let's just split this. And then you see that. Oh, wait, no. Okay, okay, so, yeah, you're gonna go to Time Bender. And. Uh, see that you press smooth, then it looks like choppy, like it's a time lapse. Mm, during editing, don't worry. Because. Down there, it says, the current selection will combine for, okay, okay. The final result, which means when it's smooth, will only be visible when you, um, when you, like, download the video, when you upload it. <clears throat> Not in the process. So if you see that, like, you're editing, right? And then, and, and then if you see, look, it, look, it looks very choppy. Don't be, don't be suspicious. Just the fact that I was going to render afterwards, and then, and then it's going to become smooth. 
So you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, why is this not working? Don't worry, just. It's cool. So yeah, don't don't be like, oh my gosh, what's happening? It's it's not being it, it's not smooth. Don't worry. It's just the fact that once you render it, that's when. Once it's done rendering, then you upload it, and then you check the video on YouTube. <coughs> that one's gonna look smooth, so don't worry if it doesn't look smooth like during editing, cause I mean, it's not trying to waste all that time just to do that. It's just gonna do it one once it's rendering. So yeah, just edit this, just as just as just as a disclaimer. So yeah.